On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, corner pinning in ProPresenter 5. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I go through some of the software that you might want to use in your church to help you change lives and eternities. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host, and I'd love for you to join the conversation. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com contact, or you can absolutely, anytime you want to, just leave your comment below the video, whether you're on trinitydigitalmedia.com or YouTube or wherever you find this. If you'd like to drop me a line, my email address is paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com. So let's head over to ProPresenter 5 and take a look at corner pinning. First we click on ProPresenter 5 up here, then we go to Preferences, now, in the lower left-hand corner here in this uh, display tab, you might be on general or modules or whatever, but click on display, then go to corner pin down here. You'll need to check that to turn it on, and then click on corners. This little dialog comes up, and you should see the default for the way this is set up, which would be if you uh, envision the top left hand corner is starting at zero zero and moving to the right to the rightmost pixel which in this case is 1280 but it's still uh, zero at the top and the bottom left is zero on the left hand side and 720 pixels down and then at the bottom, we're 1280 uh, by 720, which is the full resolution. So this is the bottom right corner down here. If you can see that, the bottom, the top left is 00, zero up here. So that's on this display, but that's not the display that I'm dealing with. I'm just dealing with the display that's over to our right over here. And I'll show you a screen capture of that and how it is. I'm using the demo version here at home, so this isn't the one that my church pays for. This is just for demonstration purposes. So you're going to see some a little bit of craziness when I take my screen cap, but you'll see what I do. So what I've decided to do is to make this kind of askew, I'm going to move the top left down 100 pixels, the top right down 50, then the, oh that's the top left X which is up here, down 100, and then Y would be over 50. Okay, so the top right which is over here is 1280 over in this direction and zero down, let's make that 100. That should be, so this is 50 and this is 100, so I expect that that will be a little off kilter. And then let's do this other zero here at 200. So the reason you would do this is if you have a keystoning problem with your projector. Maybe it was set up by someone that didn't know what they were doing, or maybe you had, you're had you in a rush job, you're setting up for a retreat or something like that, and it's just not quite right. You can all fix that here in software uh, with ProPresenter 5. So I'm going to click OK, then I'm going to click Toggle Output. Now if you were looking right there, you would see that it didn't actually do anything and I think that that's a glitch but what I've noticed is when I click these little buttons to tweak the position and then click back to the center then it in fact does skew it 
So let me take a screen cap of that since my software doesn't want to do that. So that's not as severe, but it could be that, remember what you're doing is you are messing with the output image so that it fills the screen. So in, in this case, this output image says that it's fine in the lower right hand corner, but it wasn't quite reaching up in the upper left hand corner. So I've actually, in effect, stretched it. Now, that's not exactly the way you do this, so you will have to tweak it and play with it over time. But that's basically how you use the corner pinning feature in ProPresenter 5. Well, I hope that helps you. I hope that that's something that will help you and your church as you're going out and changing eternity. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, with your neighbors, anyone that you think would be interested in how to use ProPresenter 5. That's perfectly okay. In fact, the more the merrier. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Thank you.